Remember, everyone, we need to secure the hostages and eliminate the terrorists. And since Barack and Bush are on the same team, I'm expecting some collateral damage expertise from you two. Oh, come on, Donald. This is a game. Keep the past out of it. Yeah, focus on the mission at hand. And for the record, it's called tactical discretion. Yeah, tactical discretion, more like tactical destruction of a country for sure. Can we not do this now? We have a mission, remember? Seriously, let's keep it together. We're on the same team here. All right, Joe, I'm going for the second door. Let me know if you need backup at the first. Got it, Donald. I'm cutting through now. Barack, we better get moving. We can't let these two outdo us. It's okay, George. I was just making sure my gear set was on. Let's go. Joe, George, you guys okay over there? I heard some shots. Yeah, we're good. Ran into a couple of hostiles, but they're down now. We took them by surprise. They weren't expecting us to be so fast. Who the fuck's going all Rambo with those flashbangs? We might be American, we still have an ammunition limit. Not me. And hey, whoever's trying to kick in that door, remember we've got C2 charges. No need to treat the door like it owes you money or like it's the last call at a strip club. Always such a little prick, Donald. Let's just keep it moving and maybe save the comedy for after the mission, all right? All right, all right, Barry, let's keep things professional. Bush, come with me, we're going downstairs. I'm not sure if I want to follow you, Donald. Bush, for God's sake, just follow me, will you? We don't have time for this. All right, let's make it clean. Bush, once I put the C2 and hit this detonator, I need you to toss in a flashbang, got it? All right. Bush, what the fuck? In the real world, you'd be picking up your legs from three blocks away. What's wrong with you? I thought Joe was the wild card here. Wait, what happened? Donald, you sound like you already lost the next election. Bush here decided to go all action hero on us. Kicked the door the moment I triggered the C2. I just saw an opening and went for it. In my time, we called that taking initiative. Bush, we're up against terrorists here, not auditioning for an action movie. We don't want to end up like them. If this was an audition, you'd definitely get the part for Guy Who Dies First. More like the guy who blows up the set on the first take. All right, all right, I get it. No more door kicking for me. On another note, Joe, I've been watching you out there. Your aim's gotten way better. Training's paying off, huh? Or is it an aimbot? Thanks, Barack. Took some tips from the young and spent some nights in the virtual shooting range. The old man got some new tricks to show you now. Maybe now you'll finally give me a run for my money since I trained you well. Holy shit, George, you nearly gave me a heart attack. Whoa, Joe, I almost took you out there. You've got to announce yourself. Bush, you're on a roll today. First doors kick C2, now almost taking out our own. Hey, it's dark in here, and you guys know my stance on shoot first and ask questions later. In video games, of course. Yeah, George, that's exactly what we're afraid of. Just remember, Bush, in this game, Biden's on our side. All right, all right, let's keep moving. Donald, you coming with me down these stairs? This floor's clear, and we've got more ground to cover. All right, Bush, but only if you promise not to do any more of your Texas two-step with explosives. Last time I checked, kicking a C2 wasn't in the manual. Fair enough. Point taken. Just clear your side and I do mine. That's what I like to hear. And remember, if you see a big red button, don't push it. It's not a toy. Understood. No unnecessary risks. Stay calm, folks. We're here to help. Just need to make sure everything's safe before you can move. Barack, who are you giving a speech to? He's just practicing for his next conference, Joe. Got to be ready for those, right, Barack? Very funny, guys. Just trying to reassure the civilians. Now, can we focus on the task at hand? These hysterical civilians every time. Can't they see we're trying to help? Get down now, you stupid bitch. Well, they're just not used to seeing us outside of a TV screen, Donald. Yeah, we are quite the star-studded team. Maybe they're just starstruck. Starstruck or not, they need to keep it together. Makes the job ten times harder. Calm down, Donald. We've got bigger fish to fry right now. I get it, Donald. There's nothing more frustrating than giving multiple warnings and then having someone go rogue on you. You're talking about the 9-11's attacks? Yeah, it was a nightmare. We had intel, we had warnings, and still, I'll never forget that day. It changed everything. Maybe in this game universe, we should shoot civilians instead to prevent a situation like this. Bush, what the fuck are you talking about? Even I'm not that unhinged, and I'm the one everyone keeps going on about. Get a grip, man. Wow, Bush, and here I thought I was supposed to be the controversial one. Damn it, they caught us off guard. Joe and I are down. It's just you two now. You've got to be kidding me. We're the last men standing? No pressure then. 
All right, Donald, we've been through tougher situations. We need to regroup, play it smart, and finish this. Just when I thought things couldn't get crazier, let's get this done, Bush. Was that you shooting, or did you just trip over again? Hilarious, Bush. No, that was me taking out a threat. Something I'd expect you to recognize, considering you've started wars over less. Oh, come on, Donald. Can't tell if you're more dangerous to them or to yourself. Just don't shoot me in the back, at least. Really, Bush? You're the one who played soccer with a C2 charge and nearly went full auto on Joe. So I don't think you're in any position to give lessons here. Maybe you should stick to painting. You know, maybe I will. I've always said I'm better with a brush than a gun. But don't think that means you're off the hook, Trumpster. You just keep those artistic fingers away from the trigger and we'll be fine. Bush, why is your camera feed static? Oh, uh, maybe just a glitch. These in-game mechanics can be quirky sometimes. Bush, you got wrecked by that terrorist. Man, Bush, you let the Taliban outplay you? I thought you had experience with them. Hey, even veterans have off days, all right? You know, with you out of play, Bush, I finally feel safe. Now there's no chance of you accidentally blowing me up or shooting me in the crossfire. Very funny, Donald. Just remember, you might need my expertise at some point, so don't get too comfortable without me. I swear, if I get jump scared by another civilian... Oh, great. Looks like you two really made a mess of things. Who's going to clean this up? Well, we can't all be stable geniuses now, can we? Hey, Joe, remember when you said you'd have my back in this game? Guess you were only half right. To be fair, I did have your back. It's just that someone else had mine. Well, at least I can count on the civilians not shooting me in the back. That's something. Watch your six, Donald. We might have missed a few. A few? Well, that's reassuring. Well, at least you're not alone. We're here with you in spirit. Great. Just what I needed. A cheering squad of ghosts. We missed some, but you can still rush it, Donald. I was not able to see him because of the color of his fucking suit. Damn it, Joe. You said they were all dead. I've never said that. I've said that we missed a few. You know, Donald, considering how dimly lit these places can get, a flashlight attachment might have been more practical than that fancy laser sight of yours. The laser helps with accuracy. You should know something about aiming before you speak. I've got a side with Barack on this one. Visibility over vanity, Donald. Hold up, I thought the max player count for a lobby was five. Why are there six of us? Must be a glitch or something. Either that or the game's got another surprise for us. Or maybe one of these newcomers is an imposter. Do we have any mods in this game? Imposter, what is this among us? Relax, Joe. Well, let's roll with it. More the merrier, I guess. Ready up, everyone. Just remember, if anything goes south, we blame the extra guy. Kind of like having a fifth wheel, but worse. Yeah, one more person to mess things up. As if we didn't have enough trouble with you around, Bush. Finally, something I can agree with. If we needed someone to choke on a pretzel, we'd call you Bush. Coming from Mr. Two Scoops of Ice Cream? Really? I always thought the max was five players, because even the game knew Trump can't count past that. Hey, at least I don't wear mom jeans and throw a baseball like it's my first time. But seriously, six players or not, let's just get this done. Agreed. More chances to watch Trump mess up anyway. Can't wait to prove you wrong. Bush, what the hell are you doing? Those are civilians. Thought they were acting kind of sus. Bush, this isn't among us. You can't just pop someone because they're sus. Great, now we're stuck with Mr. Shoot First, Ask Questions later. Maybe next time we'll just give you a water gun. Bro, what the fuck? This looks like a war crime scene. I just walked into this room and someone executed these civilians. And the worst part? This isn't just set dressing. Bush, what have you done? Literally nothing. Actually, I think it might have been me. Joe, you've got to be kidding me. There was this moment in the last room. I heard some noises, thought it was a terrorist, and I... I just opened fire without a clear line of sight. By the time I realized, it was too late. Damn it, Joe, we need to be sure of our targets. We can't just shoot blindly. I know, I know, it was a stupid mistake. I panicked. Well, at least Bush isn't the only one with itchy trigger fingers today. Hey, I may shoot first, but I usually have a reason. Wait, that's it? The mission's over already? Well, considering our two trigger-happy teammates over here, nodding towards Joe and Bush, and their rampage on the civilians, it's no wonder we finished so fast. Seriously, there are only like three civilians left out of all of them. Even I didn't fuck up so bad in Iraq. Okay, never mind, I did fuck up that bad. Hey, I already admitted my mistake. No need to keep bringing it up. 
Well, in my defense, they did look very suspicious. Bush, the only thing more suspicious than your shooting is how you ever got elected twice. <laughs>